Okay, I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Y you're reading this right. Anywho, let's get started. It's actually the sports festival, and Zuku has been sneezing ever so often. But on the day of the sports festival, yeah, he's a girl. Which, yes, he is the one who gives a speech, considering that I believe I did have him be first place in the entrance exam. In which her little speech is pretty much similar to Bond Girls, with something added. <clears throat> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Let's just say if I'm going to win, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. But so help me God, if any of you hold back against me, I will kill you. I will burn you to a crisp, to the point where you're nothing but bones, then burn the bones. And that's when she just walks off the platform. Everyone is like, oh, wait, did she just declare that she was going to win? Fuck that, did she just threaten our lives? And yeah, Manali, she pauses for a second, just like, okay, that, that was unnecessary, but I love your enthusiasm. Just like in can, I'll school race. Suku, as soon as Oroki does use his little ice thing, Suku just counters it with her, her fire, just instantly turning it on to steam and running off. When it gets to the zero pointers, all she does is touch them and they just start melting into puddles of molten metal. And as soon as they get to the rope bridge, as soon as Izuku gets on the other side, she burns it. Yeah. The canyon? She flies over it. As for the mines? She waits until more people start showing up. And as soon as enough people are close, she has every single one of them detonate. Yeah. That, that, that's, the, that's, what, that's what she did. So, yeah. First place. Man, 10 million points. And, <laughs> let me see. Let me see here. The teams. Let's see. How should I do this? The teams. This is going to be San Kansas for Tokiyomi's Night on Izuku's team. It's actually Mineta. The only reason why is because one, they kept annoying her. Wanted to be on her team. Two, it ran out of the time she had to pick a team. As well as <laughs> three. Yeah, no one else really wanted to get on Izuku's bad side. So. Yeah, Mei, Oraka, Izuku, and Maneta this time. Of, let's say, as soon as it starts, Izuku starts charging in, attacking several, not doing several of the other, cl from his classmates to other courses, and as soon as he does get to Shinso, he looks at Ojiro, and notices, wait, that's not right. As soon as she actually throws an attack, Hitting Ojo, he snaps out of the mind control, just wondering what happened. So yeah, Izuku picks up on this quick. So yeah, she already knows about Shinzo's little quirky thing. And yeah, as soon as she feels like she has enough points, she actually calls and makes a huge dome of fire. That's so hot, can tell Rookie's eyes just... Yeah, it just evaporates on contact. But feeling like she wants to thin out the herd a little bit more, she actually summons fire ravens and sends them off to collect more points. Of which, yeah, she doesn't need them, but uh, might as well get rid of all the weaklings. And I'm just going to say that the whole the lineup is going to be the same for the 1v1 battles. Of which Izuku versus Shinso. Yeah. She does not hesitate. She blasts off right towards him and socks him in the gut, sending him flying out the ring. 
Ring out easy. This works for Roki. Yeah. Endeavor does approach Izuku. Actually, answers did about her quirk, but as soon as he tries to, you know, persuade Izuku to get Toroki to use his fire, this actually does piss off Izuku because oh, he doesn't need per she doesn't need permission from the number two hero to get her classmate to go all out. He was gonna do that anyway. And she just walks off with Endeavor, <laughs> grabbing hold of her, and yeah, he gets jewel flipped onto the ground. As soon as he's about to retaliate with fire, he can't. If I, his beard, his boots, anything that had fire on it, just instantly gone. Just shocking him, just, uh, how did you, uh, it doesn't matter, do me a favor, stay out of my way. I don't care if you're number two hero. To me, you're just second best. And the weak must bow before the strong. As she walks away, leaving Endeavor with a grim reminder that, yeah, he was completely useless against her. Now, as far as the fight goes, Toroki does end up using his fire, but only as a necessity to keep him from going to, you know, frostbite, yeah, trying to protect himself. And Izuku, she's more pissed about to actually go all out when it comes to Toroki. Actually, yeah. She conjures up this huge ass fireball about the size of the whole arena and starts condensing it into a small star. Let's say the size of a softball instead. And yeah, she just like Todoroki, if this hits the ground, everything in front of me is going to burn. That includes you. And Cementos, that includes this audience. Now, let's see how this goes. You willing to go all out? Or am I going to have to kill several people just to make a point? Toroki, uh, I, I can't allow this, but I really don't want to. Oh, well, seems like you made your choice. As she drops it, Toroki, using as much ice as possible, as soon as it makes contact, gone. So he is constantly using more and more ice, just trying to keep it from hitting the ground and hopefully lessening the impact that it will have. Which he just knows his way. Shouldn't it have. This is when he sees Izuku laughing. Her ass off. So, you really thought I was going to kill all these people just to teach you a lesson? No. That's stupid. I just want you to treat me seriously. Anyway. Later. Wait, what? And this is when she blows a kiss at Toroki. Actually, knocking him out of the ring. But Toroki's. Uh, I lost. He starts blushing, he's like, but the way I lost wasn't that bad. Bucky little, oh! Tell Roki, I feel your pain. I know exactly how it feels. <laughs> That's Manetta. That's my girl. Yep. Yeah. He's, he's not in the tournament. Because... Yeah, De Deku almost killed his ass. So, yeah, they, they couldn't allow the possibility of Deku facing Mineta. Now, let me see. Ida. Let's see what happens here. Actually, is it, what Izuku actually ends up doing is... Hmm, how should I put this? 
melting the stage. Just makes us a sheet of fire and starts melting the stage, making it so Ida can't even move, let alone touch the ground for too long. So he has to forfeit. When it comes to him versus Bakugo, yeah, that's Bakugo starts his explosions and notices that, yeah, I can use my explosions now. So he's starting to get more happy as he rushes Deku. He's just throwing more and more explosions, but he then, he's, after two minutes go by, he starts noticing that his explosions are getting bigger. Now, just now noticing that the temperature has gotten kind of high, hasn't it? Like, huh, looks like you finally figured it out. The bug stops for a second, like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> the reason why I've been dodging your attacks, as well as not fighting, is because of a, a plan I actually concocted way before this whole thing started. So, what plan? I raise the heat, make you sweat as much as possible, until I want to finish you off. Like, what? In which, Izuku? Just shapes her hands into the shape of a gun and goes BANG! <laughs> blasting Deku, just blasting Bakugo clear out of the ring and even into the stands, almost injuring several people if it wasn't for Cemento's quick thinking. Uh, so that was boring. Seriously, Katsuki, you disappoint me. I can't believe you actually. <laughs> this is when, yeah, he sneezes and it's back to the lovable Izuku that stole everyone's heart to begin with. It's like, oh, what the? Uh, what? And yeah, everyone's looking at Izuku's like, what the hell? And. Yeah, you could just say they they want some explanations, which Prince Mike and Zao are just so happy to provide. So we'll soon they learn that Izuku was hit by a gender bending quirk, and is actually a guy. Everyone that was crushing on him just feels like, oh, oh dear. So, um, not only is that chick crazy strong but so is this it's a boy but oh damn I need to I need to erase some things from my mind well uh, he even seen these do uh, yet again my goddess has been shackled but not by me by Fate itself. As everyone's looking at him, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? you sir doing poetry? Well, what's poetry? And this is causes them to face palm themselves. As Izuku was just wondering, uh, why is everyone staring at me? Then get start getting memories of what him he did. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, I am so sorry. As dust starts to get kicked up and he sneezes again. <laughs> oh, what the hell? And I was like, and yet again, fate has smiled upon me and released my goddess from her binds. They're looking at me and they're like, motherfucker. We don't know whether to kill you or praise you right now. I I care not for your pity, your pity ass compliments. All I need is my goddess's kind words. As yeah, he blows a kiss at Deku, which yeah, she looks at him and conjures up an arrow of fire as well as a bow and shoots it right at him 
almost piercing his heart, literally, only to be saved by Cementos at the last minute. <laughs> Seriously, you should you shouldn't have done that. It could have been so much more peaceful without him. Uh, I, I'm not so sure about that. You would have killed him. Yeah, I know. That's why I was aiming for him and nowhere else. No one else. Nowhere. Oh my god, are you in the right school? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, this, this was the other me's dream. Uh, what? There's a whole war ceremony does happen. And all I just look at is the goes, Well done, uh, young Midoriya. You, you were true to your word and never... Just shut up and give me my medal. Hell, give me what I've earned. She just snatches it from his hand and places it over her head. There, can I go home now? This whole sports festival is so disappointing. There's no one worth fighting here. As she just walks off. Noticing that Ida does seem peeved off and demands answers. Which as soon as she hears about staying in his brother, she's like, <laughs> and you want revenge, don't you? Yes. Why not I help you? Wh what? Come on, let's let's bring this hero killer to justice together. I'm sure that's what your brother would have wanted. Uh, I Izuku. Are you... Do you know what you're implying? Yeah. I say we kill Stain. Think of all the heroes' lives we would save. We'd be heroes in their eyes, wouldn't we? Uh, I see your reasoning, but... And that is where I'm going to end this part off. Yeah, this part is pretty... Wasn't as fun as I could have made it. But... At the very least, I did renew your hate for Manetta. But then again, who who really needed a reason to rekindle their hate for Manetta? I mean, yeah, he's comic relief, but seriously, he's just a... Oh my gosh. No joke. Roll out! Start making more wholesome content like I am. Just wait a couple seconds for someone to call me on my bullshit. Three, two, one. Oh shit, that's a lot of comments. Either way, yes, I am out. The peace and the love, children.